There we go. You take the whole thing, huh? <laughs> There we go, guys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, it's certainly going to be a really busy one. We obviously have to get everything ready here at the Reptarium for tonight when we're open. We also have four tours back to back to back to back to back. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I think I'm going to start this day by getting in with Lucy, because remember, I had mentioned that she had some shed. I had to get out of her cage that the crew wasn't able to do when I was over in Italy. So what do you say we just go ahead and tackle Lucy? Had to come in Lucy's cage, if you remember yet. Yesterday, I said there's just some shed kind of around the cage. I was kind of considering taking her out today, and then I could do a good clean of the cage. But to be honest with you, she's in a pretty good spot over here where I should be able to service the cage pretty well where some of the shed is and not take her out, which is easier for me, obviously. But I do have to be pretty aware of her to make sure Lucy is a good girl. You going to be a good girl today, Lucy? So all I basically have to do is just take the vacuum, get all the shed off without getting bitten by my girl, Lucy. The good news is, is after she shed, she's usually in pretty good mood. So. Lucy, be good for me, all right? You can kind of see, now I'm stuck over in the corner and she's kind of eyeballing me. I'm not going to lie to you. I know this animal really well. I mean, I've been reading her since she was a baby. So I know if I get too close, she's definitely going to take a strike at me. So I'm going to do my best to kind of keep my distance but still get my work done. See, you were a good girl, even though I can tell. See how she's following me? I mean, as I move across, her head just kind of follows me. Definitely a perilous thing. We'll probably get her out next week. I'll leave her alone for the day, and I'll do a whole redo of her tank. But actually, looks pretty good. Turns out to be cleaned up pretty good. Thank you, Lucy, for not being a bad girl for me. I love you. I showed you guys before I left for Italy that we were clicker training all of the alligators. I want to show you how well that clicker training is coming. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, so as you can see, these little monsters are going crazy. I mean, the clicker training has worked incredible. I mean, look at all of them are out and about. They're just like going nuts. I love it. We are definitely ready to start offering a feeding at the Reptarium for people so they can come and feed the little baby alligators. I know you guys understand that I really miss feeding my frogs. I tell you what, that was one thing I love doing every day. So let's go ahead and feed these little monkeys. Having a good time with a couple of folks from the Grand Rapids area. Of course, I've mentioned before, I might be opening up a Reptarium in Grand Rapids, so it's great to have you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. So it's uh, obviously a little bit of Bella time. The little stinker, she came down, but she won't come all the way down, but she is just so beautiful. I can't tell you how much I miss giving tours and having people out while I was gone, so it's so good to be back. Elvis is, of course, making some new friends. You being a good boy, Elvis? <laughs> Got Big Bertha the lychee out. You said that you just got a little baby mm -hmm. lychee, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. They grow so quick. I mean, Big Bertha is literally only like six months old. Really? really? So like your little wow. baby's gonna be like that big in six months. I mean, it's that's, so... That's crazy. Isn't it awesome how quick they grow? And, and then think about it, in a year, she's gonna be twice that size. Oh my goodness. Uh, she's so awesome. My first tour is down again. We have four tours today, but I know some people have said, Brian, it just gets boring when you show the tours. So I'm only going to show you guys a short little snippet of each of them, if that's okay with you. But let me know in the comments. If you like seeing the tours, do you want to know about the people that are visiting? What do you want to know? Do you want me to ask them some questions for you? Let me know down in the comments, or do you want to say, Brian, just don't show me the tours. It's boring. Whatever you guys want to do. Regardless, we still have three more to go. You guys know that I always want to inspire you to kind of be more and do more and stuff like that. And people ask me all the time, Brian, how can I have a career like yours with A? 
animals or YouTube or whatever the case may be. And I want to kind of inspire you to keep going. But I tell you what, there's a really good saying that John Maxwell once said, and it said, successful people and unsuccessful people do not vary greatly in their abilities, but they do vary greatly in their willingness to reach their potential. So my point is, is that you have to be willing to kind of put it all on the line, work hard, do things amazing. And by the way, I'm going to digress for one second. The other day I told you guys that I've got these boxes, 400 boxes of this product that I had developed, patented, and I'm about to release. After all your amazing comments, I am going to share that with you. I'm not quite ready yet. So within the next maybe week, 10 days, two weeks tops, I promise you guys, I just have to get a few more ducks in a row before it actually is going to launch. Probably still a month, month and a half away from actually launching this product. So I don't want to show it to you guys too early and kind of ruin the big surprise. Regardless, I read your comments. I appreciate your comments and I appreciate your guys' willingness to kind of not judge me for anything that I do. Not that I think you guys are going to think it's horrible. It's just not what you guys would normally think about me. So I am going to share. Be patient. I promise I will bring you guys along on the journey. And now I'm kind of excited to see what you guys think about it. I talk about this all the time when it comes to animals. Really observe thing. I noticed that Pergita last night was starting to look a little bit dehydrated. We put her in soak for just a little bit. Now she started to kind of break a shed that she was in, but she is definitely looking a little bit kind of dehydrated. She has a big water dish. We're spraying her down a lot, and for whatever reason, she's just a little bit dehydrated, probably because the weather has gotten really cold here, which means the furnace is on more, which is really drying the air out. So it's something that you have to keep an eye on with all of your animals when this type of stuff happens. Just make sure that you keep an eye on things. You can see kind of the peeling skin here, which means that she is way, way, way too dry right now. So we not only are going to soak her for a good hour or so, but we're also going to try to do something to get humidity up in the cage. You can see all the little sheds starting to break up, so we have to clean her cage. I'm probably going to switch the substrate on her at some point so we can get that humidity up as high as we possibly can because there's a really big basking light. We have a lot of rock surface in here, so we don't have a lot of opportunity to put a lot of really thick bedding. We're going to have to somehow solve this so we don't keep running into this problem. But again, it's just about keeping an eye on your animal and reading what the animal needs. But with that said, I got to be honest with you, a good hour in a soak is probably going to do this girl wonders. So I'm just going to go ahead and put her in some nice lukewarm water here. I guarantee you she is going to love it to death. You can see she's just kind of soaking it up right now. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get that shed off her. And we'll make sure that she doesn't stay dehydrated. Got my next tour and victims from Rochester, New York. Thank you guys for coming. You guys are awesome. And ironically enough, they are handling Casper. And you said you have a Casper too. I do have a Casper. That is he's awesome. It's an ivory ball python. An ivory ball python. Yep. That is super cool. So uh, that's awesome. We're going to have a good time together. There we go. You take the whole thing, huh? <laughs> you like it, Bells? Do you like the strawberries? Yeah. It took you a second. There you go. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> the first scale of snake you've held? Yes, first yes. one. What do you think? Isn't it crazy? So uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's not really words to describe it. They're so smooth. <laughs> Nova is out and about. Oh, Nova, <laughs> Nova absolutely hates the camera. I think he sees there's reflection in the actual lens and it freaks him out like he needs to display and stuff like that. So I'm going to film from a little bit further back. But Nova's awesome, isn't he? He's great. I haven't really showed you guys Savvy much lately, but Savvy is absolutely getting huge. Speedy and Savvy were almost the same size. I'd say Savvy is about 25% larger than Speedy now. Just because he is constantly getting fed over here at BHP, you're getting to be a little chunker, buddy. But regardless, back to the topic. You know, I think that you can achieve almost anything you want if you're willing to kind of sacrifice and work hard at it. And you've got to be willing to maybe potentially fail. You've got to put yourself out there because literally the road to success isn't paved with just amazing things. It's paved with a lot of hard work, a lot of hardship, and a lot of potentially bad things. But if you keep going, you will succeed. I have no doubt about it. You know, listen, over the last 30 years, I've had some amazing times and I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I've almost lost everything in that period of time. Just eight or nine years ago, literally I almost lost my business my house and everything it was the first time I had ever hit a patch like that but you know what I kept pushing through I changed things I modified I evolved and you know what things are better than they've ever been now but listen I could have given up I could have said oh my gosh things just fell apart I tried I failed and I could have stopped pursuing my dreams it was easy because trust me when you're in those tough times and things aren't going well it's really easy to feel like they're never gonna be better but you have to just believe in yourself you have to keep pushing forward 
and that is how you do it. You can bury your head and the problems are never gonna go away or you can just buck up and keep moving forward. And if you do that, trust me, things will get better. Always follow your dreams, always pursue what you want, do things that you love because that's what life is about. If you're just working your butt off so you can enjoy the weekends or vacation, listen, that's no way to live. Do things that you're gonna love from Monday until Monday. And that concludes the preachy part of this vlog. Hopefully someone got something out of it and the people that didn't, I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get back to animals and get the reptarium open. My next tour up from Cincinnati, Ohio. Welcome up guys. Of course we're at uh, Karma out here just kind of chilling out. It's good to meet you guys and hang out with you guys. I appreciate you. The thing I'm having a good time with this tour is, is that you're basically making the tour. You're telling me what to do <laughs> and he wanted to take chicken strip out. So we got chicken strip out. A little bit crazy when we first took him out, but he's calming down well. And I kind of like this tour style because I don't have to make any decisions. I just have to pull out whatever you want to do, so we're having a good like time. That. Before we open up the Reptarium, I just want to pull Bowser out, make sure everything is okay. You know, basically he hides so much that we want to pull him out every once in a while. Just kind of examine his shell, his feet, everything. Make sure that he's 100% healthy. Uh, he is looking really good, but I tell you what, he's a little feisty little monkey and he is definitely pretty heavy. Later on, we're actually going to be feeding Lucy some rabbits. While we're open at the Reptarium, that's always a big hit. People love seeing Lucy feed, so that should be pretty amazing. What do you say we go ahead and do our last minute checks here at the Reptarium and get open? Open to the public. Ready? Oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's get it open. How you doing? Hello. Hi guys, come on in. Hi. How are you? It's nice good to meet you. you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi, how are you guys? Hey guys, come on in. Hello. How's it going? How are you? Hello, Hi. hello, come on in. All right guys, so the Reptarium is popping off tonight for sure. Uh, lots and lots of people. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing night. This is the first night that we're actually gonna be feeding the alligators as well. So we have a couple of people that already wanna feed because we've been doing the clicker training. And again, remember we're gonna be feeding Lucy as well. I know a lot of people are excited about that. Like I mentioned, this is the very first time that we're offering gator feedings here at the Reptarium. And you're the very first person ever. So hopefully this goes well. We'll see how it goes. What do you think? Cool? Alright, good job. So the first alligator feeding went really well. We actually did three sessions with them today. That's where we're going to cap it off, but they did absolutely incredible. The clicker training worked well. Bruce is really the one responsible. He works with them every single day, so it was absolutely a success. So at that time, you can see everyone's kind of congregating over by Lucy's cage. I am feeding Lucy. Uh, I think she's going to be completely fine, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go get some frozen rabbits. Alright guys, so wish me luck. Hopefully I, I'll see you guys on the other side of this. No, she's actually really good. She's usually not crazy or anything like that, but I'll do the best I could do to get it close to it, okay? So it's always interesting when I'm gonna feed Lucy and I've got a bunch of people behind me. I wanna make it cool so that people can get a little bit of enjoyment, but I don't wanna get myself into a position where I'm gonna potentially get bit. So let's see what we can do. There we go, guys. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I live. What do you think? Doing a quick walk around here at the Reptarium. I mean, it's absolutely insane. It's been a busy night. I think it's about 7, 7.30, something like that. I don't know, but regardless, since the time we open up, it's absolutely gong show. We got Pepper out over here. We got Sunrise over here. We got uh, Sweetie the Blood Pipe oh, yeah. over there. So uh, absolutely amazing night. I tell you what, yesterday was a little slow. Today we've made up for it by being really busy. And <laughs> doggy, that was one crazy night here at the Reptarium. It was, I, I can't even explain what that was all about. It was definitely busy. Probably a lot had to 
do with that news thing that I did yesterday because a lot of people came in and said, I saw you on the news. I want to check this place out. So we had an absolutely crazy time, but I am exhausted. Four tours, busyness, busyness, the rep tariff. Oh my God. But I wish every day was like this. And I am going to end the vlog and wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me. And I truly love you so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here, please. If you like this video, can you hit that like button? If you want to know when I upload a video, turn those post notifications on. Remember to comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh,